sorry about that. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, great to see so many people going for the 100% completion uh, achievement here. Uh, I'm just going to be talking a little bit about Stack. Uh, who knows what Stack is? STAC, Spatial uh, Temporal Asset Catalog. All right, let's get on it. Uh, in that case, let's see. Does that do a thing? Other way around. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Stack is quite simply um, a network of JSON documents. So you have a uh, typically a catalog at the top level, then you'll have some collections underneath that, each collection being a data set, and then you'd have items underneath that. You can have nested catalogs, nested collections, etc. Um, and it's a simple, uh, compared to the uh, ISO standard that has been used before, uh, metadata standard, which you can use to uh, easily um, catalog your, your uh, metadata information. Um, it's extensible, so uh, different from other metadata standards, uh, they've gone for a small core and uh, a bunch of extensions. So there's a few uh, official ones. We've developed, I think, about seven at, at LINS already. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't support vector formats very well. Uh, I'm not sure about the technical details there. Somebody from the Topo group might be able to inform you better about that. Um, but there are um, plans to incorporate it into the OGC family of standards. And uh, yeah, you can find much more information at the stackspec.org. There's uh, the spec itself. There's an API, which is quite basic. Uh, there's uh, JSON schemas for all the, um, for the whole standard and for the extensions. Um, and yeah, it's pretty easy to deal with as a developer. Uh, so. The actual data looks a bit like this. So the collection being the typically the top level of your uh, data set, which then has a set of links, in this case just one, down to an item. The item has a link back to the collection. There's also other types of links. There's uh, parent links, child links, and root links, for example. So uh, it can be quite easy to, uh, to uh, navigate inside of your data set to find um, to go up and down the, the hierarchy, basically. Um, we've also, um, this, this was one of the main reasons we started using it. Uh, yeah, the, basically the simplicity of it, and it's easily um, validated, for example. There's already tools to do a bunch of these things, even though the standard is pretty new. It was uh, version 1.0 in June last year, so fairly recently. Um, yeah, so you can store, uh, we wanted to store lots and lots of data in uh, the AWS cloud. Uh, we wanted something that was more web friendly than uh, existing standards. And we, yeah, we just needed something that was simple to, to use and maintain. Uh, also, ideally something open source. Uh, we try to use open source when we, whenever we can. So uh, one of the problems with uh, existing metadata standards is that some of them at least are effectively closed. They're ISO standards, so our users wouldn't be able to uh, just download them without paying money to some, some third party. Um, and we've been using, uh, we've, as I mentioned, extended uh, the stack standard by adding a few extensions. Uh, so there's one top level one that is, uh, the, the lins extension, which basically says these are the other extensions and the core that we want every data set to include. We've been using that to validate these data sets in another system. Uh, so the first link here is to all those extensions that we have. The second link is to that system that uses uh, those extensions to validate the metadata um, and stores it and stores all of the metadata and assets in a, um, an S S3 bucket. And um, other tools that use Stack include the base map services, which you've already heard about, the Topo processor, Ditto, and the Argo tasks. So um, yeah, there's plenty of stuff to have a look at there if you're interested in how it's used. Um, for more information about why we use it or um, or how we use it in more technical detail, 
uh, feel free to contact us at, at Linz. Uh, yeah, I'm sure uh, Bill uh, was supposed to be here doing this presentation. Um, he unfortunately got ill, but he'd be able to answer more about the comparison between this and other metadata standards. Uh, so that's unfortunately not one I could answer that I expect you'd be interested in. But yeah, that's me. Thank you very much.